What's up pre-med friends? Watch this video if you want real advice from someone who went from a 505 to a 517. All of his real advice will be in this video. There will be timestamps below. And yeah, make sure to watch the whole thing to get the most value. All right, so I found this awesome person on Reddit and his name is Astro because he's out of this world. Nah, I'm just kidding. His actual real Reddit name is just Astro something, but he likes privacy. So that's why we're gonna do this. And there's gonna be a Google person talking in what he has typed. And I'll post screenshots that he actually did talk about this and he did get a 517. So if he's watching this, be sure to write in the comments and give him a big thanks. All right, my first question was, what materials did you buy for the first exam? And how long did you study? For the first time around, I used the AAMC full length 3 and 4. I bought the bundle with all the Chemphi's bio questions. I bought both the CARS question packs. I studied purely for 4 months, solely focusing on the exam. Awesome! Okay, cool! How long was your second study run for your second MCAT test? And what study materials did you use for this test? During my second go, I had all the previous AAMC stuff, because it expires after one year. I also bought the section bank in the CARS diagnostic. I highly 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 recommend a section bank over the CHEM BioFi's question pack, those were too easy. The section bank has very representative passages, and questions which are on the more difficult side. Those passages definitely prepped me, also using the section bank more than once. Oh my gosh, I completely agree with using the section bank more than once. It's genuinely like really hard, so you're not gonna remember everything at all, so it's great practice. I completely agree with that. What also helped me during my second round was using your world for solidifying content review, and using the flashcard feature which I highly recommend. I used the Princeton Review 2015 for studying the content. Awesome, so just to expand the flashcard feature is basically an Anki formula, but you put in your own flashcards. And it's awesome because they actually like, they allow you to copy pictures, text, they make it extremely easy to be able to make flashcards on your U world, which is just, it's a great feature. Cool, so what Anki deck did you use for studying? I also used the Cubean deck for Anki. All right, do you have any main tips for the overall process for studying for the MCAT? My main tips are not content related. I would say one, build a consistently healthy sleep schedule. Two, wake up and study earlier instead of in the evening. 3. Try mindfulness meditation. If you can manage your stress for a month, the exam stress will be nothing, especially during the PS section, when everyone's brain is mush. What did your last month look like when you were studying for the MCAT the second time? So for my last month, I was first already doing the AAMC full length. I was correcting my mistakes and finding my weakest areas that still needed work. And for the last two weeks I was studying my flashcards and redoing the section bank. My mistake for the first run was saving the AAMC full-length exams for too long. Some people say to do a full-length every week up until the exam, but I would disagree with this. I would start the AAMC Florida a month and a half before, and aim for two full-lengths for the first week and try to correct and study for the next week. Interesting. Yeah, I agree. I saved the AAMC stuff for my last month, but there's just so much great content in there and I wasn't as fast as I thought I was going to be. So I didn't actually get to use all of the material. So, I mean, honestly, that's really good advice. All right, so for people who are having stagnant scores and like they can't get above a certain threshold or they're stuck at 495 or they're stuck at 510, what would you recommend and what was your experience? My advice for people having stagnant scores is to really focus on what study habits are working not working and which are efficient. And don't be afraid of ditching a study method halfway through if you're forgetting the material. Do you have any examples? Here is one example, I tried using flashcards for Chem and Physics, but ditched that and repetitively wrote what I needed to memorize for those sections. Also practice questions for that section solidifies equations and constants to be remembered. Do you have any other tips? Also a big tip I have, is to use the content skills and breakdown feature for all the AAMC stuff to really identify content difficulties. I would use that feature to really focus on what I need to work on and memorize. I didn't use that for my first exam, but on my second time I used that for psychology and sociology. Alright, well hey, thanks so much for coming on. I'm sure this is really going to help a lot of people and that's freaking awesome. So I hope you get into whatever school you're looking for and with the 517 you're like a hot commodity so hopefully you do and you'll have a great time 
and we're both we're all gonna just be MDs together. It'll be great. <laughs> or deals, whatever. Okay. Bye.